Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot. Aries, you're up next for July. Aries, sun, moon, and rising. All right, guys, tapping into the energy, the first thing I heard is busting through barriers, determined to get it right. And then I was shown in my mind's eye, white dove. So white dove symbolism is pretty heavy symbolism. So some of the things that I wrote down, devotion, new beginnings, purity, protection, end of a problematic cycle. Um, love. Also, doves are released during ceremony or celebrations. Then I heard pomp and circumstance. So this is the song that's played for graduation ceremonies. So second indication of some sort of graduation. Then justice concerning your legacy or inheritance. So I was then hit with Ten of Pentacles energy. So Ten of Pentacles is inheritance, um, legacy, those longstanding foundational things that provide for you and future generations. Then I heard yes. And this echoing yes verberated for a long time. It gave me the feeling that you were receiving yeses on multiple different areas. Then I saw in my mind's eye the coding 1101. Again, all about multiple new beginnings, all in God's source. Okay. Then the starlings started to sound the alarm. Now, starlings teach group etiquette, how to behave in a group. But the way that they sounded the alarm this time was as if it was on the perimeter and they were protecting a thing. So not allowing this thing to come in any harm. So it was a feeling like there was a, a alarm around the perimeter of a thing. And then I heard top notch security. And then I was shown in my mind's eye, the color green and purple. So those are the two highest chakras, the heart chakra and the crown chakra. And so I was told to give my affirmations for both. So for the heart chakra, the one that I use mostly is I am love, I give love, I receive love. And for the crown chakra, what I mostly use is I am infinity. So some sort of infinity in love. I was just shown the infinity symbol. Beautiful. Then there was a opening up and a tingling of my crown chakra. I am to describe to you how my vision in my spiritual perspective has shifted. Okay, so because I'm telling this story, it lets me know that there's going to need to be some sort of shift in perspective for you. So prior to this last upgrade that I went through about a month ago, I was able to sit like at a bird's eye view and look at the whole thing from a raised bird's eye view. Now with this new upgrade that I've gone through, I am right front and center. So no longer can I look down at a thing. I have to look at both sides of a thing, okay? So I'm center, front and center now instead of being above. So you'll need to change your perspective similarly. And then the last thing that I got was that a feeling that something was being overlooked that is super vital. But this thing that is missing or being overlooked brings surety to your mission. I had a feeling like if you knew one piece of information additionally, you wouldn't doubt the one thing, you wouldn't doubt one thing about who you are and what you were capable of. Then I heard victory is assured, trust it. Okay. So this is everything that I got tapping in. So your message is going to be something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcome to here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a monthly reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for July 2020. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right. So my frankincense went out so I had to relight it so let's see the overall read on the energy is coming from Sundara Fawn's reawakening the soul deck it is wrapped in violet all about the crown chakra otherworldly downloaded information so one card as an overall read on the energy 
for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for July 2020. What's the energy about? One card, please. One card for an overall read on the energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Our card is out. Just a second. My apologies. All right, guys. So this is what we have for overall reads on the energy. Um, from the bottom, both cards is a challenge on feminine energy. Here's transformation again. This has been a going thing for the monthlies. I think I've seen this card more than any other card this month, okay? So needing to transform, to die to an old way, to live again as a new brighter thing. Next, dark magic. Now, this can mean many things, but this is what I get, and I get a sick feeling to my stomach. So, yeah, moving from darker ways. <sighs> moving from darker tendencies. Super interesting. That's the overall read on the energy. Transforming from dark to light. Putting a death to... Your lower tendencies, okay? No other way to look at it. Let's see what's at the bottom. This is why celebration is in the reverse. It's time to grow a new thing, okay? So let's go ahead and get our spread. Our spread is coming from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. It is wrapped in yellow, all about the core. So let's get to the core of the matter, the solar plexus. Tell the story, please, for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising about a need to transform from dark to light is the overall energy. So there is resistance on one, that's wholeness, mind, body, spirit, father, son, holy spirit. Yes, working in your lower tendencies. So I was shown the heart and the crown chakra, which are the highest chakras but you're vibrating at your lowest chakras, okay? So that's why I was told to give you, give you the affirmations. It's about growing out of your lower tendencies to vibrate higher, okay? Needing to put death to your old self to rise like the phoenix. I don't have to pull a card, okay? But tell the story. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, 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 yep. This is all we're going to get. This is a clear and concise reading. First card is a challenge on feminine energy. It comes face down, which is unknown. Something you don't readily see. Absolutely. You're in devil energy. Temptation. Card number 15. 15 breaks to a six. Sixes are all about harmony or the journey too. Also, we have split energies. So opposing forces. So the devil is here being nurtured on feminine energy, but a need to come out of deception and envy. So seven of swords energy. Sevens are about, harm, excuse me, journeying to your God self or your higher self. So this is clear and concise, deception and envy, okay? Leaves you in your devil lower tendencies. This card zings so bad with dark energy. Like it's the first thing I felt. And it was a strong, dark energy needing to come out of this. But the reason why you're in your lower tendencies is because you're envious in this in I feel envy, okay? Envious of someone. So then on masculine energy, powerful doing energy, absolutely, the crown chakra. So you know that it's time to grow a new thing. So double seven energy, growing to, journeying to your God self or your higher self, it's a must because you're in devil energy. All about a missed opportunity in love, okay? So this is discontent and boredom in this deck, but it's four, four of cups. Um, but there is no missed opportunity in love, okay? I can tell you without a doubt, I don't have to clarify one card, okay? It's all directly related to you being envious of someone. Now, you think there's a missed opportunity in love, here's your second indication that there's not because what you're trying to go back to is not the yummy stuff. You're not choosing wisely. This is not a soulmate union. It's time to come out of mental conflict and acclimate your light and dark. You're in your shadow, which leaves you without a firm foundation and unable to take advantage of God's source. Stuck, unable to walk away, not getting 10 of pentacles in this energy, okay? 
It's clear and concise. Let's find out what this devil temptive energy is. I'm interested. Something normally I would not do, but I'm drawn here. So tell me why the devil is here as a challenge. Coming from traditional rider way, wrapped in green, all about the heart of a matter. So getting to the heart, anahata is the Sanskrit word for the heart chakra. So still resistance on one. Now, this is not an outside thing. This is something that's missing internally. That's why you need to die to the old. So you can birth a new, brighter thing for yourself. But it first starts by getting out of devil energy. I, I look at this as devil energy back to back. Deception and envy and temptation. And you know it. The crown chakra comes in the upright. Tell the story about temptation. Thank you. Yep, holding on to a dead cycle. So the world is an ending to a cycle. You can delay it with darker magic, but it's a definite end. Falling on temptation, the devil, unknown. You're not getting anything tangible from the relationship that you think you missed out on. So this, I, I read energy well. Knight of Pentacles is my slow but show knight. He's slow but show because he devises a slow methodical plan to ensure victory. So when this Knight of Pentacles is in reverse, the slowest moving knight is not moving at all. So not getting anything tangibly from a cycle that you're holding on to, okay? A dead cycle, I keep hearing it. Unknown. Manifesting, but I feel this as manipulation. I feel it as reverse, and I'm filled with the burst of high energy. Yes, this is someone who is deeply entrenched in their darker tendencies. So let's get to this. From as a challenge from the bottom. Yep, here's the same six of cups, but it's not the yummy stuff. And here's four cups. So double confirmation of both. Yeah, this is someone who's deceptive to themselves and envious of an outside party, leaving them in devil energy, not getting anything from this person that they are obsessed about, holding on to a dead cycle, wanting to go back to something from the past that was not sweet at all, okay? And manipulating because you don't get all of this yucky energy with the magician in the upright. So because it came out in reverse, it gives me the feeling of delusion, okay? Because there is no way you can manifest upright with this yuck. You got yuck on top of yuck here. So when you manifest in yuck, you get yuck, okay? This is your reading. I'll get us a card of advice for navigating the energy in this spread. So, card of advice is coming from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. One card for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For July 2020. About a need to transform from light to dark. Now. One card. Let me, I, I'm gonna, after I get this card, I'm gonna let you in on a tad bit of information. Okay, so I've been getting this he these heavy downloads for almost a year now about the time that we're currently in, okay? As a society, as a race, the human race, okay? So this time is all about cleaning up Gaia. So if you find yourself stuck in lower tendencies, You'll be permanently stuck there. So choose wisely. That's why you have the choose wisely card in reverse. Now, two cards for cards of advice from the bottom. Many paths. So someone's stuck. So there are many paths to get you out of this mess into your God self. 34 breaks to a seven. So we have 777. Seven, seven. This is heavily about getting you to your higher purpose, to your light. Okay. But with having many paths to get there, somebody's not taking any of them. So stuck. Falls right here on temptation and deception and envy. Also unknown, the crow. Card number 13. Breaks to a four. Fours are all about foundations, home, family, and stability. And this falls right here at on deception and envy. So let's read both from the book. Starting with many paths.
Interesting. Yes. This shift that we're going through is birthing a new earth. And you're going to get to choose what you delight in, light and dark. But there is a new need to choose wisely because when you make this choice, that's where you're stuck for eternity. Okay? So everything we do on this earth plane, even when it seems insignificant, matters. Everything matters. And I, this is somebody that's super hard-headed, knows that they need to get out of darker tendencies, but refusing. The essence, all paths lead to spirit. What you bring to your journey is what will determine if yours is a path of suffering, a path of wisdom, a path of bliss, or a path of loss. Consider the traveler who met two stone masons. He asks one what he's doing. The mason replies, I'm squaring out the stone. He asks the other who's doing the exact same thing and gets the reply, I'm building a cathedral. One man has a job. The other man has found his work and calling. He is part of, of an endeavor much greater than himself. Be sure you pick a path with a heart. The invitation. Your call now is to take a big, bold step and leave the beaten path. Heaven and earth are conspiring on your behalf to support you in this move. Do not dally lest you miss your moment. It's time to sail into the uncharted. Be sure you attend to both your path through this earth as well as your journey through the stars. The medicine. You've outgrown your current situation and risked losing your way in your own backyard. You're being called to step out of your comfort zone. Respond now while the call is still a gentle whisper. Even though the woods look thick and impenetrable, Venture in and let nature guide yourselves through the dark until you, excuse me, until you reach your destination. Remember, if you do not know where you're going, any path will take you there. If somebody's stuck in darker stuff, I'll read the last part. Even though the woods look thick and impenetrable, venture in and let nature guide your steps through the dark until you reach your destination. Remember, if you do not know where you're going, any path will get you there. And then the crow in the upright, card number 13. The essence, the crow is the keeper of universal law, the law of truth. Crow teaches us to walk our talk, to find congruence between who we say we are and who we really know ourselves to be. This wing one insists that we speak truth, that we create truth instead of searching for it, and that we bring truth to every situation we find ourselves in. The invitation, when you speak the truth and practice truth, eventually everything you say becomes true. Your power to co-create with the truth is universal is the universal law. Correct what is untrue in your life without judgment, lest the truth set you free. The medicine, be true to your word. Crow arrives just as we've convinced ourselves that what we're doing is right and justified. And while this may be the case in the realm of relative truth, in the realm of absolute truth, it is not. Look deeply into your heart and remain alert, lest you convince yourself of something that isn't deeply true for you or perhaps is not the highest truth. Do not seduce yourself with illusions. All right, this is your message, Aries, sun, moon, and rising. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Also, go follow on IG. I'm there seven days a week with the card of the day at Fifth Element Row 777. Until next month, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.